And tonight, I'd like to show you what the money looks like here in uh, Hong Kong. Now, the smaller denominations are like this. This is five Hong Kong dollars. The exchange rate right now is about roughly seven Hong Kong dollars to one US dollar. And don't ask me what that is to Filipino peso. If you want to make the math a little bit more complicated, there are roughly 50 peso to a US dollar. So, a little round circular math problem there. So that's, that's what a five dollar coin looks like. This is a two Hong Kong dollar coin. So they basically, they did similar to what Canada did with their loonies and their toonies. Loonies being one dollar coins because they have a loon on them. And toonies because they're two loonies. <laughs> so yeah, that's a, that's a two, and that's a five. Now it's interesting, the five has text around the edges, probably the camera's not gonna pick that up, but it has text around the edges and it says five Hong Kong dollars. Here on the two dollar, you can see it's got like a little wavy pattern. Now when I was a kid, there, there was this game that we played because we were stupid, where we took and we like used our thumb to flick a coin at someone else's knuckles. I believe the game was called Bloody Knuckles. A coin like this would have won every single time. So this is a, this is 20 cents, Hong Kong dollars. Sorry, food just got here. This is 20 cents. Don't believe I have any smaller, no, I don't have any smaller um, denominations for coins, but I do want to show you a 10 dollar, or 10 Hong Kong dollars. Now this is really interesting, because this is the same kind of technology that they're using in Australia's money, and I believe Canada has recently done this. Did it say Australia? Maybe. So this is plastic money. You can see through part of it, I wonder if I could Ooh, yes. Hi! So you can see through part of it, and it's also got like the other security features, such as there's like little holo, like little bitty holographic things. You can only see certain angles. Oh, no, wait, never mind. That was like, I don't know what that was. I think that was a piece of a lemon. Pretty sure that the lemon wasn't part of a security feature. But this money, the great part about it is, you basically, you can't rip it. You can soak this in water for days, months, years, and it will not degrade. If you um, just wear this bill out, it doesn't wear out easily, right? So you put it in your wallet, you take it out. You put it in your wallet, you take it out. You know, normal paper money wears out from that. This will not. And let me demonstrate. Say, I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna roll it into a little bitty ball. Now I normally wouldn't do this, but I'm doing it so I can demonstrate how awesome this money is, okay? And other than a few creases, this money is no worse for the wear. This is awesome. In fact, honestly, if I just set it on the table for the rest of my meal, it would probably straighten itself back out. Now, not all of their money has moved over to this new system. Oh, this is also, so this is the same bill I just showed you. So, you can see, that it's already pretty much worked itself out. That's kind of cool. This is the same money that you see sometimes people will use to put into records and it plays the record. It works with pretty much any of the plastic money. So this is a 20 Hong Kong dollar bill and it has this little strip in it. It's also got a ghost image. If you look at the paper up in the light, you can see there's like a little starfish or flower there. It doesn't have like a lot of detail to it and it doesn't have a, you know, a person's face on it or anything like that. $20 bill. This is essentially the same thing, but I believe this one is older. So this one has, what is that? I believe this one has a picture of the islands on it up here and an abacus, that's kind of cool. And then we have a 50 Hong Kong dollar bill. Another interesting thing about this is these bills are not the same size. If I line up the corners, you can see that a 20 is shorter than a 50. And the one that I haven't shown you yet, that's the 100. The 100 is even longer than that if I line up all the corners, which is, is really kind of cool. In fact, I think, yes, it even works the other way around. You can see that the larger denominations are slightly taller that way as well. So the 50, you can see here, it's got another ghost image here. So that's what that looks like. Let's take a look at the 100 
Hong Kong dollar bill. Oh, that's kind of cool. On the other side, this is what we have. I don't know. I think it's kind of cool. I very much enjoy seeing other cultures and other places money. I hope that you do too. So I just sat down to order a Coke Light or a Diet Coke as it's known in the States. And it comes and it looks in, in an entire, it's an entirely different can here in Hong Kong. That is amazing. Crisp taste, light, no calories, it says around the thing. It's interesting that in different parts of the world, you can't refer to it as diet. So you have to call it Coke Light. All right, cool. Here's to you, Coke. I hope that this video has been helpful for you. If it has, let us know in the comment section down below. Until next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all those things that make me love my job. Also, be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other. Bye. Thank you so much for watching today's vlog. If you'd like to watch more content, that's on screen now. Also, if you'd like to support this channel, you can find a Patreon link at the lower right-hand corner of your screen. Next vlog. <laughs>